Good evening, my lovelies. Right, I'm going to do an unbathing. These items have been in for a couple of days. So I thought we'll take a look together. These were the tiny tools. Uh, if I remember correctly, they were all seized up. We shall have a look now. Right, that's empty. Right, let's have a look. Hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. And I must be a YouTuber now because I have my first thumbs down. No, still seized. That one hasn't come loose yet. And that is a drop full steel made in the USA. Six inch. Seems small for a six inch. Uh, and it's a crescent wrench. Let's see if I can move that. <laughs> yes, Crescent. Jamestown, New York. Still a lot of dirt in there. I'm sure we can get him loose right next and the deox c seems to be doing its job ish he's well and truly up and we've got a Ford Where are you? Ford King Dick made in England can't see anything else yet you know every one of these is rock solid still which surprises me and just checking you guys can see. Can't see anything yet. Apart from that's a different different metal. Seriously, no movement. I think this is my smallest wrench adjustable. Uh, can't see anything. And another one, rock solid. Wow. Right, two more to go. Apart from I just wound the glove in. Oh, there's movement of the turning knob. But no movement of the jaw. 
Uh, no markings as of yet. Oh, another one with a serious headband. Wow. Can't see any markings. And lo and behold, oh, it's even twisted. Where are you? Wow. Alright, let's dry them off. Uh, as of yet, no brand name on that one either. Right, let's get you out of the way. Now this one, if you remember, the war issue, 1956, and for the name, I managed to play around with pencil rubbers, a pencil rubbers. Um, pencil rubbings and it's Staniforth Server Quick is the name of the company so that's what that is and that's going in there he hopes now You bugger, you're not going to go in, are you? Well, that wasn't the smartest move I've ever done. Right, we'll have to top him up with a bit of water. Or have I put a crack in there? Excuse the back of my head. Anyway, we'll sort that out after. Right, I'll get these gloves off, I'll let them dry off, and we'll give them a spray. And what we'll do then is, just off camera, I have some opening to do. I'll speak to you in a minute. Alright, back again, just quickly. I wasn't stingy with the 50-50. And, sorry, out of focus, out of shot, they are all-ish, still need some work, this one seems to not be gripping by the wheel, uh, wheel's pretty banged up, yeah, bit of a shame that one. But they are now all running, not perfectly. So I'm looking at, I'm not looking at the bloody screen. Excuse my French. But they're all, all moving. So that's a start, and this one is. These are my favourite shape wrenches. Apart from anything wooden handled, I just love these. They're just so, well, ergonomic. But this little baby's going to need some work. She is really banged up. But now working. Rough, but working. There we are. That's going to be a. That's going to be a job and a half. I bet. But it's a start. It is a start. Uh, won't be tonight, but the next job will be. A good old wire wheel. 
Oh yeah, very nice, very good. Right, I will now get on with uh, unpacking. I did say I'd wear gloves, look at the state on me. Dear, dear. Right, see you in a minute. Right, me again. Let's see what we have in here then. And thank you Jim, I, you informed me that uh, my address is, or address is showing. So I, I couldn't work out how to blur the screen. He did tell me, but I'm a bit slow on the uptake on things like that. Right, these are all eBay. He's a big old boy. Uh, not bad, Nick. And running. Nice. I can't see any markings as of yet. And oh, that's just fallen in the uh, six and a half ish, thereabouts. One of these, uh, Williams can wrench. Uh, what can? Not a clue. Different. Yeah, different. Right. Uh, another six and a half. I do love these. Oh, and she's working. Lovely. Uh, can't see any markings yet. Uh, looking at that, I don't think it's too old, but I could be wrong. Watching Nash doing his history. Very interesting. Uh, looks like there's a number there. Anyway, we'll see what they're like. Like that. And another one. Uh, yeah, impersonator. Are you working or not? Oh, yes, it's working. Don't know the age. Never seen that one. But it is similar to the one. <coughs> and, yeah, it's the one I cleaned up. Steel and steel, steel and steel, no other markings, but the thumbscrew knurling's different. This one is at a slant, and this one is straight up and down. Nice, very nice. Uh, that one's a little bit shorter, six inches. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Right. Next. Just one on its own. Right. I don't think that's snail, do you? Not snail, footprint. Uh, but I believe it is a footprint. Uh, don't know any other markings on it yet. And um, with the Modified end. Don't know anything about these. I know you gents like them or collect them, one or the other. Uh, not sure if that's a footprint or it could be just my eyes. 
Yeah. There we are. I don't know if you if we can get old stock new stock. Oh, speaking of old stock new stock, sorry to interrupt myself. Thank you guys for all your help with regards to these. And look what came in the post this morning. Go on, you can do it. <laughs> there we go, well impressed. Uh, thank you, there's quite a few of you that mentioned Amazon, eBay, uh, both Australia, America and the UK, you guys mentioned. So this will now get restored. Didn't notice that, it's even got a, a snip for uh, fencing wire, cable. Nice. There we are. Sorry, a bit close. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. And that cost me just over three quid for that. Um, I did think of bluing it, uh, as in heating, dipping in oil. Uh, but because I don't know what metal that is, I'm probably going to leave as is. Unless any of you guys have actually done that. Uh, heated it and put it in oil. No, oh, so that's a job to do. Right, where were we? Where were we? Uh, right, let's speed it up or otherwise. Now this one really pissed me off. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know the age of it, but it's obviously footprint. And they only took pictures of one side. I don't know if this is original. Um, I'm sure one of you guys would love to tell me, please. Uh, I don't know what that is there. It looks like 68R. There. Hold on. Where are we? That one. Don't know. Anyway, the other side, look at that. What a total, yeah. Now he cleaned it up so he knew. So that might be, I don't think I'll weld that, I'll probably solder it or leave it as is. It's a beautiful wrench, this side. All the stamps are there. Absolutely lovely. So, live and learn. Yeah. A bit gutted about that, to be honest with you. Mm. Oh, here we go. Now, I notice... Uh, Mr. Rathbone had one of these, a laminated one. It's a bit, uh, <laughs> it's a bit bad. What was that say there? Uh, Richards, Sheffield. I've never seen a laminated one before. Anyone know why? There's another mark where. Uh, Works beautifully. I think this one's been kept in water. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows the story of why it was laminated. 
Uh, I'll be intrigued. I think, I'm not sure if that's another mark there. Nice. Nice. Uh, that seems to be a bit of a... Oh, my dear, if we screw it back down. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a wee bit windy. So any noises you can hear is outside. Oh. Bit of a gap closed up. I'll tie you. Six. Six inches. And next. Uh, chain S. Don't know who they are. Uh, don't know what the V's about. Yeah, uh, British made. Uh, working, but I don't think that's original so we're looking for that one right what else we got have we done in that's the footprint oh. okay that's seen better days socket uh, oh my favorite favorite brand Here he is. I do like snail. And the ultimate snail for me, I don't know if they did them, with a perfect handle type. And this is a Jador number six. Yeah, these are seen better days as well. <coughs> but hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this is getting a bit long. Uh, 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 uh. Cycle Master. Uh, who are you? Don't know. Drop Forge. 11 open ended, 11 round. M40. Is that? Don't know. Uh, made in England. Looks a bit worse for wear. Oh, it's another snail. And it looks like they've chopped the snail in half. Oh. Never mind. Right, last. Last, last, last. Uh, we've got another. Just says steel. Just there. Good nick, mind you. Okay. Actually, very good nick. And a few, few dings there. Nice. Is that bent or is that me? No, head's bent. That's why it was jammed. Uh, yeah. It's been bent that way. Well, I'm sure we can sort him out. Right, that's it for now on those. Uh, I've had a... This will be in another video. I just quickly wanted to say thank you to Ben, Tall Addict, for sending me some goodies. And this will be going on my board which is behind me it's behind you but that'll be another video anyway gents thank you for your company and i should speak to you soon bye for now